me down. Welcome back. We're at the pyramids for the epilogue. And this looks weird. This looks very weird. Oh my god. Is this him? Is this the man behind it all? Oh! What are you doing here? Why are you attacking me? Who are you? I am Pyramid. It's you who's been attacking us. Enslaving us! I have enslaved no one. I rescue people from the wasteland. I give them life. You give them life? What do you mean? You do not understand what Pyramid is. I can explain. Pyramid is the memories of one man who lived before the war. We store his memories of the world that once was. I am Pyramid. I am that man. But I am more than a memory. I am more than an archive. I am... an ark. These pictures... That's what I've been seeing. Through the headband. You are seeing the world that they share with me. They are not slaves. They are citizens. They have jobs. They have marriages. They bring up their children. Their children go to schools. You have no schools. You have mechs. Your world is a wasteland in which you fight to survive. Pyramid is a world in which you can live. But you are... destroying this world for the sake of the old one. See for yourself. See what they have before you take it away. Go on. Go on. Put on the mask. Monkey. Just wait. Trust me. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god, Troop. Oh 
my god. It's done. Did I do the right thing? Oh, damn. This is... I don't know. That's one hard question. Now, well, that was an unexpected ending for me. And it's one that it makes you think about it a bit. Would you prefer to live in a world in a illusion under the illusion that everything is fine, everything is great? Or would you rather face the harsh reality of life? Of real life? Are you in the right to take that away from people who are happily living? To put them back in the reality of things? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking know. This is a question you can't simply answer. It's like, does life, does life even matter enough for us to, like, d does life matter enough for us to live in reality? rather than enjoying ourselves in illusions of different world. And video games are something like the pyramid, I guess. It takes us out from the real world. But we realize they are uh, an imaginary world. We just don't want to be in the real world. So... Yeah, it's tough. And with now, VR is getting bigger, bigger, and getting into that virtual world, making it, making it more realistic is getting easier. And we might face that question one day. If we, are, if we are all put under this virtual reality that's very similar to actual reality but better, will we be able to tell the difference? Will we realize that something is wrong? Or are we now under virtual reality? Maybe we're not real. Maybe our lives aren't real. Maybe everything we see is programmed by someone. Someone smart. This world is not the real world. The real world is much darker. That's why we escaped to this world. That's why we got put in this world. 
Or is it? I don't know. Anyways, thank you for taking this journey with me. This is a great game. Definitely a great, great game. I don't know how the love story between Monkey and Trip didn't get anywhere. Didn't go anywhere at the end there, as I expected. Because this felt like that kind of game. And at the moment that the the game caught me off guard when I didn't expect it to do a thing like that is when the pixie told monkey that monkey was monkey's hand was on his penis <laughs> and it caused in me a wonderful reaction and an, ex an, an unexpected turn of events for me which was hilarious but anyways, thank you for watching my Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it. I enjoyed playing this game. And I would recommend you play through yourself, obviously. And yeah, what's next? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, on my Let's Play GTA San Andreas series that I have finished at this point, oh, I have finished it a while ago now. I said that I might be taking hiatus. And I guess I should. Because I don't know what else to play. And I'm not sure I want to. So, see you. See you when I see you, I guess. Anyways. The the easy thing here is that nobody's watching these series or any of my let's plays. Well, I say nobody. There's, let's say about five people, maybe, not not the same people, but five people are watching these let's plays, and then somehow views get to up up to fifteen views. So yeah, so to those five people who enjoyed my series and followed them through. Just want to let you know I'm probably gonna take a big break and yeah maybe I'll return maybe I won't we'll see thank you for staying with me good bye